Hi, so today I'm going to give you a little dread update. It's been quite a while, so um, I wanted to do that and also just talk a little bit about um, the most common question I get about my dreads, which is why did you decide to dread your hair? So, um, and so I'll answer that in a second, but just I'll show you just briefly what they're looking like. Uh, I just got out of the shower, so they're still kind of wet. Um, but they're very much still messy and immature, uh, but they seem to be pretty well formed. So I uh, even got a couple little beads, I don't know if I can turn them so you can see, but they have little hearts on them. Um, I'm not sure I'll keep those, but, uh, the decorating is about to begin. So that should be fun. Um, so now about why I decided to dread my hair and, um, there's quite a few reasons, but uh, let's see. So one reason is because I am not someone who likes to spend time on my hair. And this takes time right now, but in the long run, it, it doesn't take too much time. And uh, I have a lot of hair. And so for my hair to look nice, it just takes a lot of work. Um, so like blow drying and washing and cutting, it's just, it's really thick and it doesn't look good when it just lays there. So uh, yeah, that's one reason. And another reason is that I wanted this to be a really big year for me and it has been. And uh, a lot of the things I had to do this year required a lot of, um, faith and belief that things would work out as long as I was consistent and stayed the course and didn't try to overthink or over control things. And, um, my hair was, is like a physical manifestation of that. So it's a physical reminder for me to trust in the process, not be too controlling and just stick with it. Um, because it's very challenging to walk around with your hair looking um, the way, I mean, I don't know, I like it right now, but there have been a lot of times where it's like, oh my gosh, am I really going to do this? Am I really going to continue this process? But um, the answer is yes, you know, to, to take this leap and do something like this, it's like you might as well see it through. And that is um, very much what I'm doing right now in my personal development and in my business. Um, it, my palms get sweaty just thinking about it because it, it's so there's so many wonderful things that are coming to me right now and um, I'm just so grateful and uh, I need this constant reminder that yes what you're doing is the right thing um, I'm making good choices I am doing the things day in and day out that will bring me to where I want to be in life and um, there's nothing better than that and right now I am sitting in my new home. Uh, this is the first video I've made indoors because at my old house, um, it was so dark and the house was just so, sorry, my dog's playing with her toy. Um, it was just so dark and not attractive inside my house that I couldn't even make it a decent video. And so now um, I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm looking at out my window right now, but it might be too wide out. No, you can see it. This is a view out my living room window, and there's a very similar view out of my bedroom and my office. I'll show you my office even. Um, so the choices that I've made throughout this year have brought me to something that I did not, I, mean, I knew it was it would happen because my husband and I have both worked so hard to move ourselves up in life, um, but it's just amazing to now be here. See, I'm still painting and priming this room, but this is my office view. I mean, it's just stunning. I see Olympic Mountains over there and the Puget Sound and uh, the Bremerton Shipyard. We used to live right over there. And my son, my almost 15 year old son said, hey, Bremerton looks a lot better from over here. A lot prettier. Um, so yeah, and here's Shanti hanging out with me in my office. 